A lot of you are probably like, Miller, why is the hood open? It's an amazing piece of equipment. It truly is. And I am very impressed. It looks really good, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, it is 20 degrees outside. We got six inches of snow. I just got down plowing. But you and I, we need to talk about these two wonderful cars. I've had them for six months. We're gonna dive into it a little bit. And then we're gonna do a little bit of unboxing. And then we're gonna dive into some questions that I asked you in some previous videos. So I hope you're looking forward to it. If you are, make sure to leave a like rating, leave a comment in the comment section below. But first, we're gonna talk about this beautiful Type R. So, the Type R. What do you really say about it? It's an amazing piece of equipment. It truly is. As long as you got good tires, the handling is incredible. I just hit about 9,000 miles on it. Yes, I hit 9,000 miles already. Um, and the tires are, put it to you this way, the tires need replaced <laughs> already. Now, the sticker did say you get 10,000 miles out of them, so I got about another 1,000, and they're about correct. That sticker was pretty right on the money. The horsepower. For what this car is, the horsepower and torque is on another level, really. I've gone up against GTIs, Imprezas, WRXs. This thing holds its own. I, the only thing I have as a mod is an intake. That's it. I'm probably pushing, oh, I don't know, maybe 305, maybe, if, if I'm lucky, maybe 307. If you have not had a chance to drive one of these cars, I highly recommend it. If you know somebody who would let you drive their Type R, ask them. Unfortunately, don't ask me because you ain't driving mine, but maybe someone would be generous and let you drive theirs. But enough of the Type R. Let's hop over to the Sport because it's changed for the better. So the Sport, all I can really say about it is it just gets better and better the more I drive it. I'm really happy with it, to be honest. I mean, it has its quirks, just like every car does, and it has its really good things about it too. But all in all, the more and more I drive it, the better it is for me. Let me know in the comments below what you think about after your car after about 5,000 miles, because that's where I'm at with this one. As you can tell, I drive the Type R a little bit more, the six months was nice and sunny and warm. Well, now it's cold and snowy and icy, so I actually am looking for a beater. Let me, let me tell you guys this real quick. I wanted to bid on a 93 Civic just to get a beater. Had good tires, good inspection. It was good up until I'm only looking for it for maybe like four or five months just to get rid of it. I was going to go $1,500. It's only worth $1,000. I was willing to go $1,500. That car did $3,000. Like, what are you supposed to do? I mean, yeah, I could have spent $3,000 on it, but there's no way I'm going to recoup that money in five, six months when I go to trade it in the market tanks. And the reason I was looking for another beater is so I don't have to drive either car in the weather. You know what I mean? I don't want to drive the Sport in the snow either because people are idiots and, you know... I'm not too worried about me. I'm more worried about other people on the road that don't know how to drive in this weather. You know what I'm saying? So, But all in all, the Sport, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love both cars. But enough of me talking about my cars. Let's get into the reason why you're really here. Let's do some unboxing. 
But first, a couple videos ago, I asked you about some gloss and some black. What colors do you think I should choose? Well, I made a decision. I am gonna stay with the side skirts gloss black. Honestly, it just matches so well with the wheels and the mirrors. I'm just gonna leave it that way. So for those of you who picked gloss black, thank you very much. For those of you who picked matte, I'm sorry. But what I did do is I did paint one of the vents or the levers or louvers or whatever you want to call them. I painted one of those matte. Let's check it out and see what it looks like on the car. And I am very impressed. It looks really good actually. What do you guys think? Now, I just placed it there. I didn't put the tape on it yet. I still need to clean the car first before I put them on, but man, does that look good. I am very impressed with how that turned out. So I'm thinking they're gonna stay. So I'm gonna paint the other one, put the tape on them and get them installed. All right, so we're gonna start with the Type R. I've been on a light kick lately. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace the side markers. I have two different kinds. The first kind is this pair I got off Amazon for like 45 bucks. They're amber sequentials. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put these in. That's why I got the other pair. Now the other pair are Unities. And these are like almost smoked and cleared at the same time. Um, I'm pretty sure the light comes around here and this stays, and this goes amber when the turn signal comes on. So I'm pretty sure these will be the ones I'll be putting in and keeping in. These not so much, I'm, sh I'm sure, but I'm gonna test them both out, see how they are. And whichever one I don't choose, I'll give away. Okay, so now let's head to the back of the car. We're gonna do two different things back there. Okay, now both of these things I had in my FK7. We're gonna do the same thing we did to the Sport. We're gonna replace the lenses. That's what actually gave me the idea to do it to the 22, because I already had them done in a previous car that I had. So we got the same thing here for the Type R. Now these I actually ordered two days after I got the car, but I wanted to wait until I got the taillights because the taillights were on back order. I waited six months for these taillights. So the FK7 I had, I had the smoked ones, right? Uh, it was great because it was a white car. This is a black car. Uh, I don't want to murder this car out. I like the red and the black. So instead of going with the smoked, I went with the clear Op 7s. I love these taillights. I loved them in my last car. I know I'm going to love them in this car. All these lights will be installed in the next video. It's going to come probably Wednesday. And then next Sunday's video, we're going to get into here momentarily. All right, so let's check out the 22 Sport and see what it has. This thing's always getting something new, isn't it? A lot of you are probably like, Miller. Why is the hood open? Well, the hood's open because I got my first engine mod. I saw that a guy had it on his 11th gen, so I figured, you know, why not? Let's try it out. And it's a short Ram AEM. So in next week's video, we're gonna install it. I'll have some sound clips. After looking at his engine and then taking a peek at this one, I don't see why it wouldn't. It's practically the same engine that was in the 2.0 liter sedan in the 10th gen. Uh, so it should match right up and bolt right up. I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys are too. A lot of you have asked me about splash guards or mud flaps, whichever one you want to call them. I got them. I've mocked them up already. They look really good. They line up very well. If you remember a couple videos ago, I mentioned to you about having to remove the skirts again to cut more off. Well, this is why I needed to do that. But after looking at these, I think I might change something up a little bit on you guys here in the next month or two. Another reason I say that is because of the other piece I'm going to show you right now. The next thing I want to show you that I got are rear skirt extensions. Now what this is meant to do is to flow with the side skirts right off the rear bumper. Now after seeing these, this is what's kind of changed my mind. Now I do have a rear diffuser on its way. I was kind of hoping it would have been here already. But after seeing these, I think I'm going to change it up a little bit here in the next month or so. I hope you guys will like it. I think you really will. But either way, I'm going to install all these things and show you guys how to do it. And I think it'll look great no matter what.
Looks like we got some installation videos coming. So the next video will be the installation of all the lights, the side markers, the lenses, and the tail lights. And then next Sunday's video, we're gonna install everything. We're gonna install the intake, we're gonna install the mud guards or splash guards, whichever one you wanna call it. And we're also gonna install the rear skirt extension. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. And as always, this was your boy Miller. I will see you in the next one.